Alright guys, so we got Matrius versus Hagrid for round number three. I think this is the quarter final. I'll just check quickly. Yeah, so it is the quarter final of the Eternal Frost tournament. So Hagrid going with his Ra once again. Matrius with his Poseidon. So I'm getting to cast another Greek versus Egyptian game number one, this time on Alfine. So we're going to have a, a cow scout from Hagrid. No funny business from Matrius. Actually going for the wood line up here. Rather than possibly going for the one down here to make use of the shared wood girl, but at the same time, it is a better wood line in the long run. But the only sort of spot to really I guess put the storehouse to be as efficient would be maybe put it here. Even here it's not quite as good. So But Hagrid's cow scout putting in the work, he's found set of deer and a settlement thanks to it he's actually taken his pharaoh off actually he's got his uh being Ra I suppose he can have the priest in power and the pharaoh can go scouting because if he finds relics Hagrid can always instantly put them right next to the town center and then once he gets the temple garrison them all up really quick because if he's lucky he might have another one nearby, I guess hence the uh, cow scout. Plus being Egyptian, they probably want to try and play very expansively and defensively early. So he's going to try and go for these outer deer, even though he's got two more sets of food here. So he's got some elks, some chickens, and his first patch of elks. So He's going to skip all that and go straight onto this set of deer over here. While well, Matrius, it's just for now, he's actually gone on that gold mine. And it's a little bit more efficiently to place the storehouse where he's put it rather than try and tap into both the wood and the gold at the same time there. So, I don't know. He's actually started cow scouting himself. Don't know where he's. Oh, here we go. He's going to go for these deer over here. The beauty of any of these packs is that they are going to be longer lasting than the chickens and the lure hasn't quite finished yet, it's going to pull some more stuff in first but he has already started gathering from one of the aurochs there right next to the town centre. Really efficient stuff. So we're seeing a very early monument here from Hagrid. So last game of his that I cast that he played Ra, I don't think he went for any monuments at all, or at least to write it towards the end. A bit of a different style of play, this one. So, Matrius. It's got hunting dogs, and so is Hagrid. And that's a nice, it's a very, very nice um, relic to have for any sieve, but particularly for Egypt. Faster gold gathering. Could not think of a more useful relic. So Matrius, parking his scout here, out of sight of the villagers, but at the same time it means he knows if Hagrid's going to go for that town centre. And Matrius, I see someone had already taken a job there.
There you go. So there are the A-jumps. I thought I saw something in the ticker earlier. Free food. Okay. Some very nice relics for our players. Move line of sight. Is there another relic around? So shifting sands, and then this little pit, I imagine, is going to be for a shifting sands play. I just don't understand why you put two walls like that. Otherwise, but the initial harass here for Matrius, unsuccessful, but not losing anything in the process. But he does deny a good gathering from up there. There's the production tab. So I'm just getting used to ticking through all this. I haven't really cast a lot of AOM games, maybe only three or four, to be honest. And yet, yeah, so the pit not working out as well as Hagrid hoped. As we can see, a bit of banter between our players. Hagrid was a bit sad, and Matrius extremely happy that uh, uh, Theseus and the Scout aren't going to just die for free inside the little pit of death. So, Hagrid trying to go for a big play for the cast, and unfortunately not having it pan out for him, but I don't think he's going to stress too much. Matrius. That's his second settlement done, and his third one on the way, while Hagrid Hagrid's got the resources to get his third one, so I think he's probably going to look at doing that now, or very soon. The wedge are going to be able to cut through that wall very quickly while it's not built. But at the same time, it's made itself a big target because there's two Greek heroes chasing after it and they are going to be able to pick it off quite quickly. Yeah, so the heroes, wonderful damage against the myth units. But Matrius. Some fairly aggressive building and looking to wall up the map to try and confine Hagrid. Bow of Artemis, so archers, ballista, trolls, and centaurs sheep, so that could be pretty useful. So Hippolyta going down. I think that's her name, is it? Theseus going to try and pick off another couple of villages, so Matrius with the micro, trying to wear his opponent down, but Hagrid's not having any of it. Matrius is going to see this other barracks going down, and I think you would have seen that first one. A couple of extra farms there for her. Hagrid, I wonder if he's just got the town center rallied onto them. So, no H3s yet for our players. Hagrid using his rain power. So, about that, players having gotten pretty much all their eco techs. They even have gone hunting dogs into husbandry, both of them. Now, plow. For Hagrid, not yet for, for Matrius, but being non Egyptian, he doesn't need it just yet. But I guess when you're using rain, that's going to be even faster than if you're on a hunt, I think. 
once you've actually got player. But oh, Hippolyta pinching that bow of Artemis. That's going to be very useful for Gastrophides. I mean, not Gastrophides, sorry. For Toxodes. Gastrophides, bloody Hades unit, Sean. But yeah. Cheaper Tox. I think that's what they normally cost. 55.35. Oh, okay. Thirteen resources of an eighty-five resource cost unit. That's pretty pretty reasonable. So now units ooh. Not great for mattress, but at the same time being cavalry that's not too bad running past the tower. I guess. Thank you for the follow, I assume that was. Sorry, I didn't get the chance to check fully. Bit of action going on here because Matrius is trying to break down some of these walls to slow down Hagrid's hungering down because I guess it's, that might be where he's looking to get a market in the end. A lot of spears here though. But with Toxodius to support. Matches is just going to back out with the low ones. Try and work away at this gate, but not going to be able to. So the Petsukos is going to be able to do lots of damage, particularly to those Toxodes in the back line. And Matrius, having a retreat for now, but he has lots of production. Hagrid having already gone for Heroic. Age, but... Ooh. These is a lot lucky to not get the uh, Pharaoh there. But I suppose Matrix can always park him at the gold mine down there. In the meanwhile, Hagrid's pushing up onto Matrix's doorstep. But all these buildings going down, the beauty of Poseidon is you do get free infantry out of this when buildings fall. Not so much the walls, but everything else. The tight choke's going to make things nice for the Greek player, I think, because he's got that little bit more range. As long as he can get onto the chariots, oh, he's going to back off for now. But he does have some of the cavalry trying to focus the chariots. So he gets heroic age, and the piggies, the chariots get turned to piggies. There's a lot of chariots left now. This MiG's not far away, so Hagrid's slowly going to be able to creep forward. There's not much of a front line at the moment. There's a lot here for Matrius. He's going to be able to focus down the siege towers, I think. So these guys are very expensive, 300 resources a pop, even the chariots are only about half that. And the Nemean line, also an expensive unit that's going to fall very soon. There is still Locust Swarm and the Ceasefire powers left in play. So losses really only slightly favoured towards Matrius at this point. Eco-wise, it's pretty much dead even. 
I don't know how this fight goes. I wonder if this rock's gonna be used for some crazy micro. So we've got some armory upgrades on the way for Matrius while Hagrid's already got them. So Matria seems to slowly be winning this war of attrition, I think. Even with that MiG up in place, so Hagrid's going to try and turtle up with even more static defense here, getting that tower tucked away behind. This has been a tough fight for him. Impressive. Hippicons have their upgrades now. Copper shields, and I think I saw copper weapons for the Greek player. No, just copper shield. I thought I saw copper weapons for Matrius. Okay, I was mistaken. But even still, he seems to be pushing back Hagrid for now. He's already got his own caravan line set up, but he's needing for, to retreat for the minute, but he's going to try and get some more buildings just to spam out those units a little bit faster. Locust Swarm. So, rather than dropping any units, Hagrid just uses the rock for vision. So very smart. Didn't really have anything to drop with the rock, he's just used it instead to get the vision to drop the locust swarm. And now Matrius on the back foot for the minute, having to deal with a raid incoming from uh, Hagrid. So, what's Matrius going to do? Send just Hippocons? He's actually leaving Padromos, but I suppose if you've got the unit count, you probably can fight the the mixed chariot camel uh, raid. But even still, the Padromos are going to be much better suited off against the camels than the Hippocons. I think Padromos slightly win rather than losing pretty heavily one to one against camels. But in saying that, the Hippocons is all that he needs to really force the Hagrid to keep running with the chariots. But in saying that, it's a lot of army to be chasing, so 11, what's that? 33 population versus... Uh, oh, it's 33 versus 27, it's not too bad. But even still, I think he probably could have been a little bit better off than that. Because right now, big push here from Hagrid. He's going to start getting some buildings, but in saying that, it's always hard pushing into Poseidon because they are going to be generating all these free infantry in response, so... Matrius does end up pulling back three Hippocons. And now it's probably slightly too much because without any Prodromos to fight the camels and take them down fast, as soon as he gets the chariots, he's going to lose everything else. And those camels are going to be able to pick off some villages, perhaps. Matrius having to bring those wood gatherers away. And yeah, Hagrid. Really solid push here. Matrius was looking really solid here two or three minutes ago, but Matrius already has his myth, age. Hagrid doesn't have his just yet, so that plenty gonna give Matrius a couple of villages worth of value for the rest of the game. This isn't great for him because he's sending in Hippocons to deal with camels. And like I said, camels are a cav counter, while Hippocons, they're a range counter. So Padromos are the ones that are actually going to cost effectively fight their Egyptian counterpart. But in saying that, you're going to need the Hippocons to cost effectively fight the Chariots. So it's it's hard, especially with someone like Hagrid beating down on your doorstep with the 
son of Osiris. He's continuing to push up the walls as well. And these camels in a great spot to possibly pick off the caravans. So he's going to do just that. But Matrius has still got a pretty large army at the moment. He can still look at pushing out here and he might even be able to take out the son of Osiris. It's a bit unfortunate that we're not seeing the mummy he used to take out the Colossus. So the last of the camels is going to get cleaned up I think. Padramo is going to be able to finish them off. There's a lot of chariots here. Four matrices to have to deal with. Another MIG. And a workshop on his doorstep. So Hagrid trying to apply the pressure as best he can. That house has got 18 health. So I don't think that mummy's actually managed to get anyone there. I'm not. There we go. A minion finally. Love these little guys. Quick, that house is one hit. Matrius is building, spying him some time. That son of Osiris is really going to be able to do a bit of area damage, but he is drawing himself some attention now. Hagrid having to try and creep everything forward to keep him alive. He's going to kill all the high value Greek stuff of Matrius. Colossus awfully low. And Hagrid forcing Matrius into a fight that I don't know if he needed to take or if he should have taken. I think there's just too many upgrades Hagrid's way at the moment. There's tons of armory upgrades. Mythic Age and Heroic Age upgrades. Well, well Matrius has managed to catch up in terms of upgrades. He's in a rough spot because Hagrid's continuing to apply the pressure, and there's a lot of these production facilities of his that have gone down. And another villager must have been over there, throwing down a building because it's been picked off by a mercenary. And we're going to see Polyphemus die in a similar fashion to only about 30 seconds ago, or only about a minute ago. Oh, and some nice garrison micro of the uh, Son of Osiris. Still getting some hits off. So, that damage. Matrius. Unsuccessful with that little volley. Calling a ceasefire, he can possibly look at picking up his relics again. Because that'd be nice for him, he'd need to quickly get a couple of heroes onto them and uh, throw down a temple. A lot of production, but I don't know if he's replaced his temple. So if he did, he'd be able to make use of the uh, cheaper Toxodes and the free food. Deleting some buildings to make space and not mess with his market line, but also give himself the production he wants inside his base. I think he probably would have just been best off throwing them over here or something. And yeah, like I said, if he could maybe snatch those relics, 
throw them away somewhere. So some high value relics, man. Hagrid's strong enough to deal with already, you don't want him getting a hold of those. Especially if they make chariots cheaper. Will the militia be enough? Forcing all the catapults back at least. There's a lot of towers here to back up this push from uh, Hagrid. Matrius hasn't managed to... He is going to try and go for a aggressive fort here, but it is in range of the uh, MiG, so it is going to go down before it's all begun. It's a safer attempt from Matrius. Holofemus is really putting in the work and now Matrius seems to be a little bit more successful in this front on push once again. All of workshop going up for Hagrid. Matrius still mounting Push and forcing Hagrid to actually use some of his bills right now. To try and take down the Helopolis. So, both players still with a lot out in the field, but Matrius has actually got a little bit more population at the moment. And this MiG's gonna go down. Somehow, the son of Osiris is still alive. He's actually even sniping farms and stuff in the back. Eight health left on him. Surely something can take him out. And over here, the catapult's successful in destroying the fort. Matrius is quick to try and replace it. And the son of Osiris is gonna fall! Finally, 500 kills later for him. Matrius managing to snipe him. And the... The militia managing to get a nice catapult kill, so... Paying... For the fortress. But Hagrid's continuing to creep forward with the towers. We got Petrobolos versus Catapults. Nice. The relics, they're fighting over the relics, guys. So neither player wants to give, but the score's slowly still widening in favour of Hagrid. Huge chariot ball there. And even some mercenaries here to defend, if you can call it that. So, do these guys take up population? No, they don't. So, mercenaries to help assist with the push. Hagrid's getting desperate, but he's really getting further and further into Matrix space. Actually, is persisting. Once that fortress slows down, though, it's going to be very scary for Matrix, particularly if this MiG does go up for Hagrid, because then that's firmly inside Matrix's starting base. And the meanwhile, there's also this fortress to contend with for Matrius. A very nice use of the catapults. Which 
try and break through that little wall because all he needs to do now is throw up a gate. Mm. I reckon raid right on the uh, farm eco, the gold miners. Even try and get to the caravan line of Matrius, but Matrius has done well to defend this fortress if he just repairs it with some of his own siege out of it. He can really turn the tide of this war. He's streaming. He's got to deal with, sorry, with Hagrid streaming everything he's got up the guts through this little passage. He's going to try and take this aggressive MiG. All that fortress is going to fall. So Matrius having lost a little bit more than Hagrid overall, I think. Both players still have a little bit in the bank, and Hagrid's actually a little bit lighter on for the gold at the moment. And saying that he's got plenty of food in the bank. He's got enough to be able to spam a couple more mix if he needs to. Matrius is continuing to try this mid map fortress. Sneak around the side of his opponent's push. But he's going to have to make it work soon. A couple of these caravans running through the wrong way. That's a good tell of how close we are to Matrius's caravan line at the moment. So he needs this push over here to work. That village had better build quickly. Come on Hippolyta, all you have to do is grab the relic and run. Very interesting tower positioning we're seeing here. It's a very interesting wall as well, but if it works I suppose it means it's very easy to access your opponent's base while your push becomes very hard to deny. But this fortress, half done. But it seems as though Matrius's base is half done, so it's going to be interesting to see which kicks in first. Matrius doing what he can to hold on. He's fought valiantly. This slow Egyptian death march has been hard to stop, but he may be able to do it. We're going to tear down these towers and that MiG very quickly. And I suppose with his towers falling down, it's a free supply of militia. Do a pair of them, or is it only a single? It's only a single. couple of spears in that one. So Hagrid's push. All the buildings are all falling here. But he's still managing to maintain the unit numbers that he needs. Oh, that's a good number of militia heading in now. They're going to be able to pick off this catapult. <laughs> and Matrius this time opting to put down a military facility. Military academy. Rather than worrying about waiting on a fortress. And now, it's even a, cha a, a caravan dying. There's not a lot of buildings standing in the way of the caravan line. And this little death ball here from Hagrid. That's a lot of these Patrobolos. What's that, six of them? So Hagrid walling up space there. Thank you for the follow. And he's forced out a heaps of these Petrobolos from Matrius, so I suppose if he can just get some camels or some spears, it'll be very easy for him to 
take them down, but I suppose he just needs to be able to get past the other units of Matrius. So some villagers coming in there to clean up those patrol blocks. Very population efficient way to do it. But now there's a spam of mercenaries, so these guys don't take up any population. But Hagrid doesn't actually have a huge amount in the bank and doesn't actually have max population, so I'm not sure if he's necessarily better off getting to a better chariot and camel count first or So now Matrius is the one taking out a nice max fight here. And I don't know if these guys are actually cost efficient. But here we go. Ch uh, Hagrid's actually reaching closer to his max pop while still streaming some more of the mercenaries in. Not a lot in the bank for him though. Matrius is very low on food and wood though at the moment. Really only just gold in the bank, but some more camels in the mix to try and pick off the tox. The mummies, they hit really nicely and then been able to convert units or turn them into little minions. Once again, Hagrid mounting the pressure. And this time, Matrus is finding it very hard to keep maxing out the army behind this. Units streaming in from every direction. There's even a villager there in the wings, just in case there's a uh, catapult for him to punch to death. What if the Petrobos is best off attacking the chariots or the tower? I'm not too sure. Matri is having a retreat right now. And over here at the side. Oh, he has managed to get some Petrobolos. But he needs to creep them forward. Maybe try and take out some of the houses and get that MiG. Well, Hagrid's still pressing forward, trying to spam MiGs and towers in his opponent's base because he's not far from that market line. Catapult versus Catapult. Speaking of, just over here. So the losses tab just creeps up and up. <laughs> Matrius and Hagrid both finding a way to keep maxing out their armies through all this ordeal, but I don't know how much longer it's going to go because there is villages being focused down there by the chariot. This town center slowly losing health. Matrius still pushing up with the Protobolos. Managing to sneak a couple of mercenary cavalry in here. Locking up these Petrodolos, and meanwhile, oh, towers coming out from uh, Hagrid. Really wants to deny Matrius from continuing to harass him through here. And meanwhile, he might even be able to try and take out that fortress, but he should also probably going to say sneak some villagers in just to take that out. But then it is range in range of the fortress over there, so. Really nice defensive play from both our players. Neither player giving an inch here. Hagrid's really applying the pressure around this town center. Doing everything he can to try and take it, but. 
Atreus has plenty here to try and quell this push once again. But in the meanwhile, there's been a lot of Petrobos fall. Matrius is going to have to try and repair this town center. He's got two town centers under assault right now. Like it's really making him work for it. So one of the town centers, two of the town centers. Fall. Matrius falls down to one town center in one swift motion from Hagrid. This is really going to slow him down because he's going to have to try and cram out these two town center replacements to catch up 40 population space. I don't know if Hagrid's going to let him. So even taking damage just slows down the building progress. And GG, that's game number one. So guys, that's a hell of a game. But these players taking some serious losses. Very tight, very tidy game from both our players, guys. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to count the rest of the series. Got to head to bed, I'm afraid. But thanks for tuning in, and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the tournament. See you around. Thanks for all the new follows. I'll see you guys later.